Friedman, founder and chairman of Telephone Doctor Customer Service Training, St. Louis, Missouri. And yeah, if I look informal, it's with intent because the topic that we're doing today got too informal. So I thought I'd dress the part, little sweatshirt, little jeans. The top we're talking about are email frustrations. You know, we do a lot of surveys when I speak at conferences and I've gotten some information from my audiences. The number one frustration on email is poor spelling and grammar. It's just not a favorite of anybody's. And I am, I don't like to use the word appalled, but I'm shocked, I should say, at the level of executives, the top level executives that misuse the words your and your, there, there, and there, two, two, and two. And we know there's a whole list of words that sound alike, spelling differently and mean different things. So bottom line, double check, proofread. Some people just say, put it on a Word document and have the spell checker check it before you send it out. Too much on social media is too informal. And the, uh, and the emails that go to your clients get too informal. The second frustration, subject line that isn't matched the content of the email. You know, you start out with, hey, you want to go to lunch? Yeah, let's do Tuesday. Okay, that's fine. By the way, uh, and you change the topic down here, but you haven't changed lunch Tuesday. And that's hard to deal with. That's number one. Two, and number three is reply to all. There are some people who want to reply to all when it's not necessary. There are your top three email frustrations, if you will. And if you've got a frustration on the email that I haven't mentioned, and I'm sure you have, please let me know. Nancy at telephonedoctor.com. F-R-I-E-D-M-A-N, Telephone Doctor is all one word. Have a great day. Thank you. Oh,